Hey guys, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. I'll just quickly show you my first combination lock over here. This was five digits as well. And it's pretty easy to extend, but basically this one didn't reset when you flicked the wrong switch and you could just try it. So there's 25 possible combinations for this one. So I just could have kept trying it until I got it. So I decided to build a more advanced one over here. Now this one has five digits as well, but if I click the wrong one, it'll reset. So you have to get it in exactly the right order, which makes it nearly impossible to work out. So this one's a lot more secure. And you can add more buttons. It's pretty easy to add more buttons. So basically the buttons just have a torch at the back and you need to separate the outputs. So I got all these outputs here and I've just used repeaters to separate them. So this one's coming off that torch. That's for there, that one's coming off here. This top one's just going up here. And I had to route it around the side here just so it would be separated. And then you basically just put it into a decoder. So this is the decoder, just, it's basically blocks. And repeaters, blocks, repeaters, blocks, repeaters, block repeaters, etc. I'll just show you what's under here. That's pretty much that. So that's the combination. So you want this block to be the last digit in your combination, which is block button 5. As you saw, it came down the side and it goes through here. And so you power that by redstone. You've got to go underneath the other one so it doesn't get power from them. And then you put it up into your RS null latch array. So there's lots of tutorials on RS null latch arrays. They're pretty much the same. Once you've got two digits, then you just repeat it. So there's that and then just basically repeats for as many digits as you want. So once you've got that set up, the only thing I really added to it was the reset. So once you've got the decoder and RS and all that array working, then you want a reset basically circuit. So that's where the torches come in. I actually knock the torches off, the block that I'm powering. So if I want this to be the first digit, I put it there and knock the torch off. If I want this to be the second digit, I knock the torch off. This to be the third, knock the torch off, etc. So basically what that does is if you power the right torch, it'll go straight through that and it won't set off the reset because there's no torch to power it. So if you do the right combination, this whole circuit will be useless pretty much. The reset circuit will not get used. But if you hit the wrong one, so look, the, the first digit is not this one, but what this is going to do is it's going to light up all those torches. And that activates the reset for all of these latches, which resets every single one of them. So that's the good part of this. So I'll just quickly show you it working. Okay, the door is currently closed, and this is my actual combination. So I just did it in order of how I hooked it up, so to make it simple. And that opens the door. But if I click any of the wrong digits, so that's still right, but if I click the wrong one, bam, the door shut. If I click another wrong one, the door do nothing, and it'll just keep resetting pretty much. So I've got that activated, that was right. That first one's right. Click the second one, that's working as well. But as soon as I click the wrong one, all the torches will go off. So that's a better example, click one that's not the first digit. All the torches are off, they all get reset. And so that's pretty much how that works. I might do a in-depth tutorial about that later, but pretty much you should be able to look that up yourself. This is for more advanced users. So it's just the RS null latch array, the decoder, and the reset circuit. You can look them up all separately. I'll try and copy basically what I've set out here. So anyway guys, if you're looking for a more advanced um, combination lock, this is definitely what you want. You can expand this as long as you want. Pretty much you just need to work out ways to hook up the redstone torch to a separate circuit. And you can just copy, duplicate everything pretty much. So exactly what I did before, just keep doing it. So that's pretty much how that works. Hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. See you later.